Morning, how much is the box here? Uh, yeah. Nice one, I'll, I'll take that, thank you. Oh. And what about this one? Uh, two pounds. Two pounds, yeah. Sorry, mate. Who's in charge of the money then? Oh, this <laughs> Monday, I think. There you go. Oh no, wait, sorry. Three pound. One pound for that one, and then two pound for that one, yeah? Thank you. Yeah, nothing. Should we get the coffees? Alright. <laughs> Morning, mate. How much after on the headset? Pound? Pound, yeah? Okay, yeah. that one. Uh, I'll take them for a pound. Cheers, mate. Uh, first road. First road. Very first. Three quid, mate. Very, very first road. It's morning, mate. So I to look through the games, or yeah, yeah, yeah. How much you after on a mod? They were different. Uh, two quid each or three for five. Two quid each, three for five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go on, mate. I'm just gonna put them as well. Get them. Yeah, I'm Do you know which one it is? Uh, <laughs> oh, Minecraft. Minecraft, I think. I think it's for the Xbox. Yeah, yeah. he's, he's yeah, got I that know, one. I know what it's worth. Fiver. Here, yeah, mate. I'll put, put three back, so yeah, yeah. I've only got six. Right, right. Right, I mean, did I put the wrong one back? What's that one, mate? Uh, two quid, mate. Two, yeah. Not all of them, nah, 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 nah. Oh, yeah, two quid each. 30, mate. Yeah, they've been used, mate. £100, that was. £100. You know how they are? Yeah, I know. Go for that. Stick online still there, but I've got £30. £30 for that, would you, mate? Yeah. Nice one.
Morning, mate. How That's much are you after on uh, this one? Uh, four pounds. Four pounds, yeah. And yeah. what about the blue pounds? What about that one, mate? Uh, the blue, uh, the Blu-ray. Uh, five pounds. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll take them both for nine quid. Sorry? Uh, two pounds. Three pounds. Just, just gonna, just gonna check uh, they're all in there, mate. How much you want? You want all this? No. Uh, eight pounds. Go back, please. Sorry? Uh, I Just take three quid for it, mate, because the box is a bit bashed up. Go on. Yeah? Cheers, mate. Okay. Yeah. No, what's the best price you can do on that one since the case is broke? The cases can be changed. Uh, uh, seven pump? Yeah, go on then. Yeah. Nice one. And we are back, YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. I'm in the game, my channel's buying games, DVDs, Blu rays, uh, any electrical items I get my hands on at a car boot sale, Facebook Marketplace, or a charity shop for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded into CEX at a high price. So I can build my own gaming collection. Yes, first, well, the first official Saturday boot sale of the year um, for me. I mean, the, there has been a couple of other Saturday ones, but this is like the, the Saturday boot sale that I go to all every day throughout the summer. Fingers crossed. Uh, sorry, every Saturday that, throughout the summer, weather depending. Um, weather's been really nice today. The field was still a little bit wet, um, but yeah. They opened up. wasn't as busy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really busy, but um, yeah, weren't, weren't too too busy. But obviously, got some decent pickups. Although the weather for Sunday tomorrow um, or the today, when the day that you're watching this, um, is not looking good, and it may be that most of the boot sales are going to get rained off. So, fingers crossed, uh, the weather holds out, and I'm able to get to a couple of boot sales on Sunday as well. But we'll we'll just have to see. But yeah, we'll get into what I picked up. A um, couple of good ones. A couple of okay ones and, and one fail, unfortunately, which I'm, I'm a bit annoyed with myself about, and I'll, I'll get into um, later on. But yeah, I think the first pickups of the day were these two here, uh, DVD box sets. We've got the Complete Life on Mars. Um, yeah, one pound into three pound or four pound, I believe. Um, and then I don't know if you remember in my video a couple of weeks ago, or maybe even a week ago, I said, look out for any box set that say this network on there. Um, yeah, another one, ever decreasing circles, never heard of it, 
but yeah, uh, £2 into £6 there. So it's a £3 in total into £9 or £10 there. More than happy with that. Now, these pickups, um, they were okay. You know, I was walking around for a while, didn't, weren't really picking much up, and I couldn't see anything. And obviously, I see all these games, and I've got to be excited. Now, in hindsight, um, you know, the trading value is not as good as I would like, but, you know, there's still still money to be made there. But <laughs> it didn't make me laugh. Basically, there was a big container of games. I was going through them, and I'm looking looking it back, and I'm thinking, why am I not picking up that, that game? There was um, a copy of Last of Us on PlayStation 4, and also a copy of um, Minecraft on the Xbox One. Now, shout out to the guy who did pick them up. I think he said his name's Brandon. He did say he watched my channel, so I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, just, you know, in those situations where everyone's, uh, you know, picking, it's like mine, 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 mine. Um, you know, when they're picking things out like that, I, I feel like I'm under pressure and I, I always pick out the wrong games. Although, you know, all, I'm, all of these, I do make some some half decent money on. Um, I just missed out the, the really good ones. But that, that, that's how it goes sometimes. But yeah, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. So I paid £10 for all of these. Um, so two, I think it was £2 each or three for a five. Us. So I've got six games. Obviously, Black Ops, we all know, £3 trading. I've uh, got Sonic Free Riders on the Xbox 360. That's a, a £4 trading. Guitar Hero Greatest Hits on the PlayStation 3. Uh, it's actually gone up from that price that's on there now. This now tra trades in for £8. I believe it's up to maybe £12 or £15 to buy that. Um, Skate Free on the PlayStation 3. I think that one chops in for a fiver. Um, and then, yeah, Red Dead uh, Redemption, Undead Nightmare. I think that one chops in for five or six pound as well. Oh, But this is the fail. And I, the reason I'm annoyed about it is because, one, I've, I'm pretty sure I checked all of the games, but obviously I didn't. Um, but, yeah, it's Sniper Elite, which chops in for three pound, but it's got Mafia 2 in it. <laughs> but there were so many games there that were worth three pound. But obviously, you know, two pound into three pound is... It's not that, you know, it's not worthwhile. And I think I just went back and picked any game that was worth what I thought was £3. And just my luck again, I picked the wrong one. So another one for the foul pile there. Um, this one is Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the Xbox One. Um, now, I don't know if you remember in the footage, but it was in a, a bashed up case. Um, that is the joys of having a foul pile, is you've always got a spare case. So, yeah, £1 into £5 there. Happy days. Um, and then, what did I pick up next? Can't remember, but I'll, no particular order. Um, yeah, Harry Potter, the complete eight film collection on Blu-ray. Uh, £5 paid, that chops in for £16. So really good with that one. And then, yeah, again, portable um, DVD players, always on the lookout for these. Uh, this is a Bush, where is it? 8380. Um, I think it's an eight inch uh, DVD player. Tested it, all works. Um, it is a bit scratched up, so I'll probably get the C grade for that. I think I paid four pound for that, and it chops in for um, twenty five. I think this no, sorry, I think the C grade's twenty five pound, and the B grade's twenty six or twenty seven. I'll probably get the C grade on that one. But watching that back as well, I mean, I, I probably should have bartered him down a quid or so. But you know, you can't moan nine pound into what forty pound there. So I'm more than tripling my money really, but. I do, try, I do tend to like to bar them down just a little bit if I can. Um, and then, yeah, straight after that, from the same guy, I managed to pick up uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, the original, or the complete original saga. Now, I don't know if you could see in the footage, but the box was really bashed up. But I've got some super glue, put it all back together, gave it a wipe down, and you tell me, you know, looks good, good as new, apart from, you know, there being a little bit of a, a crease in that bit there. Um, yeah, happy days. So three pound paid for that, and that trades in for twelve pound. So yeah, really happy with that. And then yeah, this it seems to be all. I'm on the lookout for these more and more now. The old headsets because they've got some good trading value, and people just don't want nothing for them. I'm, it's probably because they they think you can't do anything with them. But I'm getting all tangled up there, rolled up. So this one is an Orsley. Yeah, I don't know the brand of it. Uh, sorry, I don't know the model of it. But I did look on the, the um, on CEX, and they do take this version for four pound. So yeah, one pound into four pound. Happy days. And then yeah, a 
Turtle Beach, we tangled up again. Yeah, Turtle Beach, this is a Recon P, uh, 50p, sorry. One pound into eight pound, can't complain. And then, yeah, last pickup of the day, which I'm really, really, really happy to be adding this to the collection because it's a game I've been after for ages. It's one of the ones where I'm like, I'm either going to wait to see it in the wild or, or I, I will have to wait to see it in the wild, basically, because CEX don't sell it. Um, but yeah, I was like, you know, I wanted to wait and see if I could pick it up for cheap. I'd seen a couple on eBay where I was thinking, oh, should I put an offer in? I think they wanted like maybe 15 or 18 pound for them. But yeah, Command & Conquer Red Alert 2, nice and complete. Now, as you saw in the footage, the case was, was broken. Um, but a couple of weeks ago, I bought five PlayStation 1 games for four pound, all with good cases. So that's been swapped over. So seven pound uh, for Command & Conquer Red Alert 2. Now, I'm pretty sure that goes for maybe 15 to 20 pound on um on ebay so really be happy to be adding that for, for a cheap price so yeah all in all saturday boot sale a success i think in total well i mean i think i spent about 35 quid including that but obviously if i take that off i think i spent maybe 28 or 27 pound and i'm pretty sure all of that will be trading in for like 90 to 100 pounds so yeah, more than tripping my money, which is exactly where I want to be. Um, I'll put it on the screen now, actually, uh, how, how much um, I'll be getting exactly. But yeah, really successful. Um, boot sale, happy to be out there. I'm re it's really like getting to that point now where, you know, I can, I can feel the Saturday and Sunday boot sales coming. And that's when the vouchers are going to start rolling in and I'm going to start making it rain GameCube and PlayStation 1 games. <laughs> but yeah, really can't wait for the summer now. So um, yeah. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if there was any games that I've missed. I'm sure I missed uh, a couple more in that big box of um, in that big bucket of games. But yeah, take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.